ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up. Hello, hello. Welcome to Weed Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am here to give you a word from the Lord as well as to take communion with you, brothers and sisters. Praise God. Yes, it is time to take communion. Hallelujah. I am just so grateful for day one to be able to meditate on the word, to be able to pray unto the Lord and to be able to receive messages from him. Hallelujah. Because the Lord was speaking today. Praise God. I hope you got your messages. Hallelujah. Because I was able to write down mine. Praise God. God is so good. He is not leaving any of his children out of the promises praise God the only way you will be left out if you turn around you turn your back on God and you choose to walk out hallelujah but the Lord is not going to push you out because he wants you to himself he wants you for himself so he draws you to him hallelujah but remember you have the free will to go you have the free will to decide if Jesus Christ is going to be your Lord and Savior and I pray today that you have made him your Lord and Savior that you have made the perfect choice praise God because because Jesus is the perfect choice. Hallelujah. And God, hallelujah, understand he is the one and only true living God. He is the one and only true living God. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you want life and life more abundantly, choose Jesus and, and begin to walk in his ways. Begin to read about him, to study him. Praise God. To, to study what he did. Hallelujah. And you begin to do what Jesus did. You draw close to the Lord. Praise God. You, you go into prayer. You begin to pray. You begin to understand. Hallelujah. What the Bible is teaching. Praise God. Because you're studying to show yourself approved and your, your desire is your heart is to get closer to God. Your desire in your heart is to get closer to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that each and every one of you are able to get through this fast. Hallelujah. Not just get through it, but successfully walk through it, successfully jog through it, successfully sprint through it. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that you gain some things from this fast today. Understand that you gain some elevation. You gain some revelation. Praise God. That the Lord was pouring out on you what he needed to in this time and you received it. You received greater understanding, greater knowledge, praise God, hallelujah. And even your walk is different. You started, hallelujah, just walking regularly. I pray by the end of the day, you are walking with a high step, praise God, hallelujah. You're walking with a high step to the beat of the Lord, hallelujah. I just pray right now that each and every one of you have received what you were supposed to receive today from the fast in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, we are submitting to God. This is a submission fast. See, when we're able to submit to God, then we are able to submit to others. Understand? Hallelujah. But we first, hallelujah, have to submit to the one who rules us, the one who is our master, the one who is our Lord. We have to submit, y'all, praise God. And I pray that you understand the submission of it. It is the yielding, allowing the Holy Spirit to move through you and be a witness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's why we are here. Allow the Holy Spirit to move through you by yielding. That's your submission. So God has already given us orders. We're supposed to eat clean today, praise God, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And many of you will continue on that journey even outside of that time frame. Hallelujah. And uh, we just praise God for that. Because clean and healthy eating is going to restore some things in your body. The Lord has already said that he's going to be healing some things, praise God. Hallelujah. For some people, hallelujah. He's going to be healing some things. And we know that when we eat good, we feel good. And when we feel good, we look good. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, this is a blessing to even change some habits. Put down some things that you uh, used to crave every single day that were unhealthy for you. Hallelujah. And you put it to the side. You, you deny yourself of those things and you pick up the healthier things, the healthier drinks. Praise God. So that your body can restore itself. Hallelujah, because your body can heal itself. But God also said that he's healing in this time. Praise God. Hallelujah. So receive your healing if you need it today. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's go ahead and move on to communion. This is our first day of communion. Communion, I'm excited. So if you haven't gathered your... Um, 
you know, your cracker, praise God, hallelujah, which represents the bread. If you haven't gathered your, I have a grape juice, hallelujah. If you haven't gathered your grape juice or you don't have it, you can um, substitute for water. But we are going to take our communion today together, hallelujah, so that we can go ahead and seal today's fast as a family, praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. So I'll be reading out of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and I'm starting at verse 23. Hallelujah. And it reads, this is the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. Okay. So what I have is a piece of cracker. Praise God. This is my bread. And when he had given thanks. Thank you. Hallelujah. Mighty name of Jesus. He broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he he took the cup also after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me i have grape juice in my cup for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is an un in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick in a number sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for communion, O Lord God. We thank you for this day, Father God. We thank you for the joining of us together, O Lord God, in, in fellowship, Father God. Just worshiping you, honoring you, and glorifying you. Thank you for today's fast. Thank you for the clean eating. Thank you for the instructions and directions. And thank you for pouring out your voice onto us today, O Lord God. Hallelujah. Meeting us in prayer, O Lord God. We're so grateful, hallelujah, that you are concerned about us, that you never forsake us, hallelujah. And the path that you have for us is is mighty, is bright, is great. Hallelujah. And we thank you for it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. May every single person who received communion today, hallelujah, receive every single blessing, oh Lord God, hallelujah, that you have poured forth in the mighty name of Jesus. For this is a showcasing of you, Jesus Christ, for we do this to remember you. Hallelujah. And I'm just praying to every single person who took this communion today, hallelujah, that they be blessed in their ways, O oh Lord God. As they're crying out, praying, Father God, they're looking for you to meet them where they are, Father God. Hallelujah. For you said you have met them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them know it. Let them see it, O oh Father God. Because we know that some people do not have the supernatural eyes to see, Father. So let them see you like never before, O oh Lord God. Meet them where they are, O oh Father God. Let them just see the miraculous. Let them see, hallelujah, the supernatural. Let them see how you move, Lord God. Hallelujah. That you are Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Hallelujah. We just love you, O Lord God. We honor you and we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank you again for joining me on this fast. This is a glorious day to praise the Lord. Continue to walk in a, a, a righteous way, right? Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us walk in a righteous way. What does that mean? Just keeping our mind on Jesus Christ, doing the things that we know are right to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. And those things that are not right to do, but you find yourself doing them, just go ahead and repent. Let that stuff go. Forgive. Let that stuff go. Hallelujah. And begin walking higher in elevation with Jesus. Jesus Christ, praise God, because this is about consecration, hallelujah, and it is about submission, so let's yield, we will yield tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., remember this fast is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Eastern Standard Time is my time, so you'll see the video uh, upload at 6 a.m., 
and just like this one you'll see it at 6 p.m praise god hallelujah just so that you can come on in and do the fast and you can seal the fast for the day in the mighty name of jesus continue to drink clean and eat clean if possible as as much as possible y'all praise god hallelujah because you don't want it to be difficult for you uh to get through this fast every single day because after the fast you're picking up old habits you know it's time to put some of those things down hallelujah and stop overdoing in some areas that we know we're overdoing it in praise god hallelujah so it's just time to get real and get right hallelujah so i pray for each and every one of you may the lord bless you and continue to strengthen you hallelujah Hallelujah. In your walk with the Lord. And may I see you tomorrow. Praise God. Hallelujah. For our day to fast in Jesus' mighty name. And we are submitting to the Lord. And that just means yielding. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings until next time. Love you with the love of Christ. Bye. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God.